The Intel Core i7-5650U is a Broadwell U series processor that's intended for the thin laptops consuming low power and has improved battery life. They are they are basically more mobile because it's fanless. Uh, uh, fanly either fanless or use a very uh, small or thin fan for this. Basically, for complete fanless processors, you will have to go to Broadwell Y series. But this is this is a 15 watt processor, and it's basically the the Broadwell is a new process technology. It's based upon 14 nanometer technology, improving upon Haswell that was 22 nanometer. The Broadwell U series is launching in January 2015. We already see that the Y series launching in this. Uh, shortly, we are uh, writing this in October 11, 2014. So the Y series should appear sometime by the end of the 2014, but you will not see the U series until uh, sometimes in January 2015. But we have some leaked information about this processor from a leaked uh, um, uh, slide. We chose 5650U series processor. It's uh, as you can see, it's a dual core, four hyper thread, and clocked at 2.2 gigahertz with a turbo clock for single uh, processor reaching up to 3.2 gigahertz. So oh, coming back to the Haswell uh, and the versus Broadwell, the the processor side uh, it sees a little bit of improvement with improved branch production. So it does not have to hop around with a lot of branches and that's where the performance improvement comes from. The bigger buffer size also helps in the improved performance and we also have some new instruction sets for cryptography that software can take advantage of assuming that they implement it in newer features. So that will take some time for adoption and finally coming up in the software. So as we see saw in the i7-5650 use leak slide we have Dual, it's a dual core 4 hyper thread processor and the turbo is clocked aggressively at 3.2 gigahertz so that's a trade-off where it it provides a low base clock frequency at 2.2 gigahertz and uses all the available power and develop for the graphics as you will see it comes with better graphics uh, and that's basically the given power and develop has to divide between the processor and the integrated graphics and the commendable thing is that even with the aggressive power at uh, clock at 3.2 gigahertz turbo, it's able to fit it everything in 15 watt TDP rating. Uh, that's what we see is the Haswell is basically uh, the the Broadwell basically brings a 5% clock performance improvement over the Haswell. That's what we expect. We still do not have the benchmark number, but that's something we will cover later on, and that's something you will like to take a look at the comment section or the description section and near this uh, in this description the graphics is a new story we have the support for the display port and we for the first time have support for direct x 11.2 so intel finally is catching up with amd in support for this direct act we expect that the most of the games should be playable in low setting and many of them should also be in the medium setting basically intel has brought substantial improvement in graphics while it's there's no substantial improvement even in cpu uh, the graphics is hd graphics 6000 much better which is as we said it's much better than its has for counterpart hd graphics 5000 and intel has followed up a, a very standard uh, number 6000 which usually means that it's better than uh, uh, any number lower than that and uh, for example, this will be better than the performance of HD Graphics uh, 5500 or so. So, HD Graphics 6000 comes with 48 execution units, uh, so, and the, and the performance for each execution unit has improved. So, we should see a substantial, substantially better HD Graphics. So, you can keep looking at the, the, this uh, part or the description for more information, including the performance comparison with other similar processor and the benchmark numbers. Thanks for taking a look.